Welcome to Continue Dom Cancer Webinar. My name is Mikkel Reisberg. I'm the Senior Product Specialist at Continuous Software. Today we will review how to handle line recognition of a purchase invoice. But the lines have this asymmetric structure. Besides working with line recognition and app, we are to take a look at the inside of the code unit that does the actual line recognition. Before we get started, let's see what we have in today's menu. Our session today is based on our demo portal that is available to all partners. We'll be using NAV 2016 with Double Capture 406. Some columns and fact boxes have been adjusted to fit today's webinar. I've already made the basic setup of Double Capture and other areas within standard NAV. The most important subject is, of course, that we're going to look at how to recognize purchase invoices that has a asymmetric line structure. As always, you'll get a glimpse of some of the new features in the next versions of Drop and Capture. Those of you who already work with the registration of purchase invoices in Open Capture are probably familiar with both line recognition and setting up templates. It's precisely with, with this setup that we start today's webinar. The line capture function in Open Capture consists of these main parts. A template, a code unit, multiple line fields, and possible also adjustment of which fields that are mandatory. The template is the foundation of the recognition process. Here set up the basic parameters for how the data should be recognized. On the template used for line recognition, there must be assigned a code unit for handling line recognition. The standard code unit that is set up by default on the master template has number 60 85, 716, purchase sales line capture. There's also another standard code unit which can be used for line recognition, that's the number 60, 85, 582. During this webinar, we will review additional two code units. These are available for download from the partner portal. Line recognition requires that there are line fields in the template for handling the feed values in the document, such as number, description, and price. If needed, new line fields are easily added to the template. This is done in the same way as on adding new header fields. The template may have individual fields with different content requirements. A quick look at the line field number tells me that the field value must be present for a line to be recognized as a proper purchase line. The menu item for adjusting templates in Drop and Capture is located under Departments, Administration, Application Setup, Drop and Capture, and Document Categories. Let's get started with recognizing some purchase documents. In my document journal, we have four documents. They are all from the same vendor, Electronics Limited. The first document has the simple line structure that is handled by the standard setup. I click on Recognize Fields and create a template. Then I open the document card and choose which headings goes to which column? Number, the description, quantity, price. Pressing the recognize fields again, and the lines are all recognized.
repeating the process for the second document. Just click the recognize themes. And it's clear that all the lines are automatically recognized. But what happens if the supplier changes the line structure of the invoice? Let's try to run the recognition of the third document. Here we have a line structure in which the price and number are on separate lines. The invoice has an asymmetrical line structure. And therefore, price and number are not recognized. A minor adjustment of the template is needed. The code unit must be replaced. To deal with this invoice layout, I have developed a new code unit that can recognize data that are spread across multiple lines. Let's take a look at the object. My code unit is actually quite simple. First, the standard code unit runs through the document. This gives us a load of data in the memory that we can work with later. Then as for the field information of the item number, as the item number is always in the same column, I use this field as a starting point for locating other values in the document. We build a temporary table, the most lines are processed. I store the value of the item number and then something interesting happens. Based on the location of the item number, the function looks 20, 50 pixels to the right and 50 pixels down. The value present in this area is stored as unit cost, which is the price of the item. Then the process is re repeated, this time for the field quantity. At this point, the function must look a little further down, 100 pixels, and a little more to the right, 1400 pixels. The number indicates how many pixels we want to shift our cursor if the document has a high DPI, offset figures is likely to be greater. If the document has a low DPI, the figure will be lower. The function continues until there are no more lines. Looking at the code unit in the designer, everything seems nice. But how does it work in real life? In the document journal, I create a new template. It's simple, simply to keep track of which, docu which code unit is used for the document. Then open the template card, and replace the standard line recognition code unit with my new code unit, number 60,001. Now we just need to tell document capture which column belong together. The number, description, I don't have a quantity, I don't have a unit cost, and then the line amount. And with the tab on my recognized fields, I see the result of my setup, both price and number are recognized. To adjust in which area the code unit is to search, simply change the numerical values using the development kind. Let me show you how this is done. The blue box around the quantity is a bit far to the right. I would like to move it a little to the left. Here I just change the value from 1400 to 1300. Save the code unit, and press recognize fields once again. The blue box has now moved and is in the place there I want it to be. The setting up of line recognition for this invoice is now completed. The final invoice is also from Electronics Limited. And it looks like the supplier has once again changed the invoice layout. Let's just run the recognition of the document using the default template. 
Here we have a structure where item number description is part of a text line. The rest of the line section looks pretty much fine. But when item number is not present, the lines will not be recognized correctly. Once again, we adjust the template. The code unit for line recognition must be replaced. So let's jump to the development client and open my other code unit. Like the first code unit we saw, we start with running the standard code unit. Then as for the field information, the two fields that is to be located in the invoice. Temporary table is built and the lines run through. The next step is to read the content of the text line. First we examine if the text item number is present. If it's a part of the text string, if that's true, then the number next to it is to be stored in the memory. Now it's time to find the description text. Is the word description in the string? If yes, then double capture is to take what is between the description field and the description text and the item number text. The function continues until there are no more lines. It would appear as if this function is correct. Let's see how it works in reality. In the document journal, I create, once again, a new template. Just to keep track of which code that I'm using. And open the template card and replace the standard code unit land regulation with my new code unit 60,002. There we are. Now I just need to tell double capture which columns belong together. I don't have a number. Let's so keep that. Description is here. Quantity, unit cost, and line code. When I activate recognize fields, it seems like something is missing. No lines are recognized. Why is that? For a line to be recognized and created, all the required values must be present. The reason for this requirement is to be found in that standard. Without an account number, you can't create purchase lines in a purchase invoice. Therefore, Double Capture ensures that the lines will only be created if a number can be recognized. Since we do not have any number column, but we find the, the number via text string, we must disable this check. This is done by editing the template field number. I click on Assist Edit, gives me the field card. I can quickly uncheck the box required. And with a slight tap on Recognize Fails, I need to see the result of my setup. Both the number description shows up in the, their respective fields together with the other column values. With this, the adjustment of the template is also completed. This was a review of how to recognize invoices with the asymmetric line structure using custom code units. Before we move over to the questions, I'll be spending a moment talking about one of the new features in the upcoming version of Dharma Capture. The next version of Dharma Capture contains many improvements and nice functions. I will briefly highlight one of the new features relating to setting up web users. When setting up web users, we often assign one or more web user lists to the approvals. After a web user list is created, you have to manually adjust the list every time a dimension value or account is to be added or removed from the list. In Durban Capture 407, you can set up a list with a filter, giving you the possibility to select a range of accounts. Every time a new account is added in a chart of account, it is automatically added to the relevant web user list. The new web user list also opens up for controlling not only what accounts the approver can choose from, 
but also which accounts you are allowed to actually approve. We expect to release Double Capture 407 by the end of 2016. Remember, upgrading Double Capture is always easy and quickly completed. So, what have we been through today? First, we saw how Double Capture and line recognition of a simple common row structure. Then we worked with two code units for handling asymmetric line structures. The template was changed to use a code unit with precision-based recognition of column values. And we also saw how an invoice is easily recognized even though the data are mixed together in a text string. Please remember that both code units and test documents are available on the partner board. Finally, we took a brief look at one of the new features in version 407. 